Hey gang, Nate Bear here, lead technical tactician for Monument Traders Alliance and Trade of the Day. And in today's video, I've got a few things I want to show you. I want to go over the setup that I'm watching right now for entry, as well as an interesting level in the QQQ that you may or may not be aware of. All right, so let's dive right in. So the first thing I want to show you is actually a quick review of the SPX. And last week we talked about the potential for a possible top or a topping pattern here in the SPX with a potential head and shoulders top. Well, that got blown out on Thursday last week. And at this point, you know, this daily squeeze is fired long. Okay, great. You know, are we going to be able to sort of break out from here? This 4,200 level so far, this 4,200 level has been pretty, pretty tough resistance. Um, will we continue higher? I really don't know, but I am watching other parts of the market, right? So right now the SPX is not really what's leading higher. It's been the QQQ. It certainly isn't the, well, let's, before we show you the QQQ, let's look at the other indexes. All right. So this is the SPX. We can look at it on a weekly chart. So, it, you know, it's had a move down, right? This is 2022 and it's sort of been consolidating in this range. Now, if we look at say the IWM, this index looks pretty weak to me. So we had a move down in 2022 and it's not sort of curling up like the SPX, right? It's just sort of hanging out down here along this trend line. And to me, if there's something that's going to let loose to, to, to the downside, it's probably going to be the IWM. Let's look at the DIA, right? This is very strong, relatively, right? So if we if we mark the old high and through here, you know, the, the Dow is pretty close to those old highs, right? It's, it's really not too far away. So the Dow is acting great. There's only 30 stocks in the Dow. I don't really trade it very often. I don't really even use it as a tracking tool. And, and then we have the QQQ. Now the Qs, I, really I, I follow the QQQ, the NASDAQ, right? The S&P 500 and the IWM. IWM is the weakest. The S&Ps is sort of like a middle ground and the Qs have been leading here. So while the, while the S&Ps have been sort of consolidating a range down here, the Qs are breaking higher. They've already taken out that high from middle of, you know, July, middle of the year, 2022. And if we look at the SPY, you can sort of see that they have not yet done that, right? So here's the high from middle of July in the SPY. We are below that level. And if we go back to the queues, we can see clearly that they have taken out that level right through there. So what does that mean? It just means simply that tech is leading. All right. So the level that I want to show you or the concept that I want to teach you today is this concept of what happens when an index gets to plus three ATR. ATR stands for average true range. And I put those levels on my charts here, these blue lines. So when a stock gets to 3 ATR, it can keep going. It may have news, it may have positive earnings, it may have high short float. When a stock gets to 3 ATR, it can keep going. It is very difficult, however, for an index to keep going once it is hit plus 3 ATR. You can see here, this is the last time it happened in the queues, and it's not like we fell apart, we didn't, we didn't crash, but we did take a little bit of a breather, have some consolidation, pull back to the averages before the next leg higher. So now we've done that again, we're up here, we're at 3 ATR, so it's very hard for me to get excited about getting super long, a bunch of tech names, right? Everything is sort of extended on the tech side. NVIDIA is very extended. Microsoft, very extended. Google, very extended. Amazon, very extended. Apple, very extended, right? So it's hard to get excited about getting really long on the tech side. So that's one thing I want to, you know, show you guys is just be cautious up here with swing longs. It's different if you're day trading and it's even different if you're trading like one to two day periods, right? But buying, you know, July, August calls in these big tech names and say, I'm just going to sit on these for three months. It might work. It might not. But what I'm looking for is just a little bit of a reversion to the mean, not a huge move down 320, 25 to 328 on the queues, come back, sort of retest this breakout level and then probably continue higher. All right. So the setup that I'm watching and it's not right, quite ready yet. But as I've said, the, a lot of the big names are extended and Netflix is one that has an interesting setup. It has a really cool weekly chart where I think it's going to break out above these levels and through here and make that a little thicker. I think we're going to break out above here and probably start retracing and have a, I think Netflix is going to have a great year. And within that, I'm not playing the weekly squeeze, but Last Thursday, Netflix had a huge day, really, really big day on huge volume. And now we're sort of consolidating. 
So what I'm looking for is to, is to work a trade within this consolidation, right? Can we get a bull pennant? Can we get a flag that builds up? And then I've got a level here. You can see this Netflix pullback zone, 357 to 359. This lines up with symmetry. So if we measure all of these pullbacks in Netflix, we measured this pullback, we measured this pullback, we measured this pullback, we measured this pullback, this pullback, right? And, and this pullback we'll measure. It gives us a zone in through here between 357 and 359 where Netflix could pull back to. And if that happens, that's where I want to get long. So a couple of different ways to do it. You could sell up a credit spread in that area. You could just buy straight long calls. But I like to, I'd like to probably go out into, uh, into um, June, into the June monthly series and pick up, you know, maybe like the 360 to 370 calls, something like that. The, the June monthly series in Netflix, I would go with the 360 to 370 calls. All right. So that's what I've got on a pullback again to between 357 and 359. And then if that level doesn't hold, you just stop out and you look for your next level below that. And then you, you know, wait for your squeeze and try to get long uh, again. But I do think Netflix is going to have a solid move higher. I think Netflix heading up into like 400 makes a lot of sense. So um, that's what I'm looking at. All right. That's what I've got for today. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.